Hey, Will. Um, can you speak to the mindset that you guys had uh, after Joker got ejected and the fight that you closed that game with? Um, mindset didn't change. Go out there, compete, and try to get a win. That was it. Uh, leave everything you got left on the court. Christo Saltas, SDNA Greece. Christos, go ahead. Christos Saltas, DNA Greece. Okay, Christos, we'll have to try you again here shortly. We're going to go to Esteban Abed. Hi, Will from Cordoba, Argentina. Congrats for a great season. Uh, how do you describe the proud of this team uh, fighting with a lot of injuries and end? with the third play in the Western Conference? Um, that's just the type of team organization we've, we've been since I've been here. Um, no matter what, we, we just continue to fight and try to find ways to stay together and win. Um, we've always had that next man up mentality. And, um, you know, we fought, just came up short. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Will, you've got some decisions to make this summer about your future. You've been with the Nuggets, obviously, for this entire turn. Do you have any sort of strong feelings going into that decision about what you want for the next steps in your career? Um, uh, just, just to be appreciated. Um, being in a, a winning environment, a chance to win, and um, just to be myself and play my game. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Will, to follow up on that, I mean, just being appreciated, I'm, I'm assuming that means you you expect to be a starter in this league uh, and potentially for this team moving forward. Yeah, I mean, that stance hasn't changed. All right, we'll go back to Krista Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hey, Will, hope you're doing well. What are the most special part of that season for you as a team? And how, what are the takeaways for you personally of that series against the, against the Suns? Could you say that again? Yeah. How, what was the most special part of that, se of that season for you in the team this season? And what are the takeaways of that series against the Suns for you? Um, I say the most special part just... Um, the Cole winning MVP, um, us standing together and fighting and competing no matter what. Um, we had a lot of changes this year. Uh, Gary, you know, getting traded. Um, Jamal getting hurt. Me getting hurt. Uh, Monte getting hurt. PJ getting hurt. Um, and we just found a way to uh, stay together and compete and win games and uh get to this point where our season ended today. Um, that's it. Takeaways from this series? Uh, the takeaways from this series, um, I was just give fans credit, man. They, they, they were the better team this whole series and they showed it. Um, and you know, you learn more about yourself in losses than you do in wins. So we got to figure out, you know, what we did wrong and be ready to uh, correct it and come back stronger next year. Goal still has a change. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Well, you weren't right in 2019 in that playoff run. Last year, you weren't able to get back because of the knee. You came back in the series and you played really well in limited minutes in these in these last two games. And so is it frustrating that you know you could have made more of an impact if you just could have gotten the hamstring right? Um, this whole last year and a half has been uh, – tough for me physically and mentally. Um, I come off a, a really good season, we missed the playoffs that year. Uh, Minnesota come up short, uh, get a, a, a great deal that I've always wanted, a uh, start position that I've always wanted. Um, and I, I feel like I'm at the top of my game and boom, second game of the season. I get the most serious injury in my career. 
um, try to come back during the season. We make the playoffs. I'm not myself. Oh, that's tough for me because I always wanted those moments uh, to play in the playoffs and compete for a championship and, and play well. Um, get booed at home. Never complained. Never talked about an injury. Um, just went to the offseason and said I'll come back better. Promise that I told you guys that I'll come back the next season and um, you can make an argument that I was having the best season of my career. Uh, COVID happens. Season gets delayed. We come back to the bubble. I'm not able to um, play my body. Uh, doesn't respond well. And in that same year, that same season, uh, my cousin gets murdered. And he's probably the closest person to me at the, at that time. He gets murdered. I don't have him. I go through that season, still have a great season. And, and like I said, COVID happens and my body fails me. I'm not able to compete in the playoffs again when I want to. And I'm having a great season. So this whole season, I used the whole off season to get my body right. Quick turnaround because of COVID, they're gonna start the season early. I'm thinking we might not start the season in January to February. First game is uh, in December. I spent that whole off season getting my body right. I don't even touch a basketball. People don't even know that. I, I, I didn't even get to touch a basketball this previous off season. Oh, just, just get my body right. I touched the basketball a week before we had to report for training camp. A week before we, <laughs> we start training camp, I've never not had an off season where I didn't work on my game and get better. No complaining, never even told no one this. No one even knows this. Just come in and compete and work hard, do what coach asked me to do. Um, start the season off a little slow, individually and as a team. Um, we make moves. We start catching stride as a team. My play picks up individually. I think we have the piece of seven place to win a championship. My star point guard goes down for the season. After that, I get a serious injury. After that, PJ gets a serious injury. Um, we hit it in the playoffs. Once again, mm, <laughs> it's tough not not being able to do something you want to do, and um, knowing you can make a big difference. Missed the whole first round. We get here in Phoenix. I knew this would be a tough series. I know my team is counting on me. Miss game one. Try to come back game two. Obviously, I'm not 100 percent. Minute restriction. Try to give it all I got. Game three. Minute restriction. Tonight. Uh, plead with coach, plead with the medical staff. They did a great job all year. Tell them just lift the minute restriction. Let just, you know, let me give all I got. Whatever happens, happens. And uh that's just how it's just how it goes sometimes. But I just want you to know that's who I am, right? Just someone that keeps fighting and make no excuses. No excuses. Just, just do what I gotta do. But that's what my my last year and a half is has been. So you know what I mean. Obviously, you know how tough that. I mean, you can imagine how tough that is. But we we don't make no excuses. We just keep fighting, and I'll continue to do that. 
this offseason, I'll be able to work on my game, actually, and get better and come back stronger like I always do. All right, Will, we've got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer from the Denver Post. Hey, Will, first of all, thank you for that candor. Um, it was, it's much appreciated. Um, and speaking off of what you just said, um, you lose your star point guard, you get injured. How much of you and your decision this summer with your player option, how much of that um, factors into the fact that you want to see what you guys can accomplish when healthy, um, when, when you, you want to see if you can realize your goal of winning a championship with this team? I definitely play a role. I, I definitely believe we, we got the pieces, and if we, we're healthy, I feel like we can win it. Uh, and that's all I'll say about that. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Will. All right. Appreciate it.